Well, we've got, a, we've got an instrument over here to measure this. We're going to see how much one millilitre turns into. OK, so on our dial here, we need to watch very carefully. We're going to see one millilitre, and it turns into how many millilitres? Well, let's have another guess. Yes, what do you think? How many? Uh, someone down here saying 100, perhaps. 100 millilitres is what it could be. Well, let's, have a, let's try the experiment. Are you ready there, Chris? OK, so just put this in. So Now, this is a giant syringe here made of glass, and we're heating this up to very high temperatures. OK. And in a second, we're going to inject into this just one millilitre of liquid water. Keep going. OK, that's good. Now, you need to watch the dial very carefully. OK, I'm going to inject one millilitre of liquid water into the apparatus, and you keep an eye on the dial, because we need to see how many millilitres of steam we get from this. OK, one millilitre, about to go in now. OK, how many have we got? 100, 2, oh, 300, right, 4, 500, 600, still going, still boiling, 700, 800, still going, 900, is it going to get to 1,000? Yes, 1,000. So this is, remember, one millilitre of water. It's turned into 1,100, and it's still expanding. OK, remember, this is because there's now lots of space between these. That's 1,200, still expanding, still increasing. OK, I'm going to come behind here now. We're up to 1,300, and still going. OK, so the point is then that one millilitre turns into, well, it's going to be well over 1,500 millilitres of steam. And this is because now there's a lot of space in between these. The molecules are moving around very, very quickly. Lots of space in between them when they're a gas. OK. Well, I'll just... Well, we'll leave that one going for a little bit longer. But uh, while we do that, I'm going to set up another experiment over here.